What's happening everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna look at how to add Tailwind CSS to our Gatsby projects. It's actually really easy to do this. There's three ways that we can do it depending on what our setup is. First one, and it's the one that we're gonna focus on today, is using Post CSS and just loading it in and then just pulling the classes in. It's literally gonna take us like five or 10 minutes just to get everything set up. There's a few commands that we run in the terminal and a few config that we set and that's it. The next one is using CSS in JS. That allows us to integrate Tailwind classes into our styled components. It's slightly more complicated, but really it's not that bad at all. And then the final one is if our project uses SAS or SCSS, then there's just an additional plugin that supports it. You may already have that in there already. And it may just be a case of adding Tailwind in. Regardless, today we're just going to focus on post CSS. If you want to see examples of the other two methods, uh, just hit me up in the comments down below and I'll make sure that I record some videos to show you how to do that as well. Anyway, on with it. So as you can see, if you didn't watch the last video, all we have right now is the default starter package. You can see that there's only one commit there as well. You can see that in my terminal, there's one commit and the last commit is the initial commit. So I haven't made any changes. We're starting absolutely fresh. This is exactly what you would see if you started fresh as well. So it's a great baseline. And what we're gonna do, because I've open sourced this project as well, so you can go back and you can look at the code and follow along on GitHub, I'm gonna create a new branch. So git checkout dash B, and it will be two, and it will be Tailwind CSS. The two just lets me keep it all in order. I will post the link to the GitHub down below but in case you are wondering it's github.com forward slash Chalotelli forward slash Gatsby website tutorial maybe tutorial website yep that's the one and as you can see single commit and then there's just that single there's just one branch from the last video Anyway, on with it. So regardless of the method that we use, the first thing we need to do is add the Tailwind CSS package to our dev dependencies. So in our terminal, quick npm command, npm install, dash dash save, and it's gonna be save dev, because it's gonna be a dev dependency. We do not want this in production. It's all gonna compile down nicely for us when we, when we run Gatsby build. So I don't need to worry about it. And the package is called Tailwind CSS. The next step is optional, but I like to do it because it sets me up for the future and that's just adding the Tailwind config file. So the way we do that is by running the init command on the Tailwind package, a simple way and uh, and the way that you saw me do last time is to use npx rather than installing the Tailwind CSS package globally. And so we can just do npx Tailwind CSS init. This is within the root folder. And you can see literally what it does is it creates a config file, tailwind.config.js. We can see that appear here nothing in there it's if we want to add themes if we want to add plugins to tailwind later and we'll look at tailwind very quickly uh, once we've got this all set up so now we've done the prereqs the next thing we want to do is set up post css and gatsby has a plugin for that i'm going to be saying that a lot during the series in the terminal we need to install it so that's npm install dash dash save and it's called gatsby plugin post css Cool, now that's done. We wanna create a post CSS config file in our root directory. And that is gonna be called postcss.config.js. Naming is important here, make sure you call it exactly that. And what that does is it returns a function and that function returns an object and that object can contain the post CSS plugins that we want to load in. So in this case, Tailwind. So we're gonna write module.exports as we do because it's a standard node module. And then it's gonna be, and then we're gonna use arrow functions just for simplicity. And we're gonna return an object. 
and that object is going to contain a plugins array and within that array we're going to require the tailwind css that we installed as a dev dependency that's literally all we need to do there next thing we need to do is go to our gatsby config and i'm gonna minimize my terminal there so in here we've got a set of plugins so by default we saw helmet last time so helmet is for seo it's a it's a react plugin for uh, setting up seo config there's transformer shop and plugin shop and those are used to just optimize your images and there's a bunch of settings here as well uh, for a manifest plugin we're not going to mess with any of that right now we'll get to that later on when we dive deeper into the gatsby config all we need to do here is add the post CSS config. So we type Gatsby plugin post CSS, and that's absolutely it. There's actually two ways to do it. We see examples of them right above. One way is just a string, and you're just putting in the plugin name. And what that's going to do is it's going to use the default. It's going to use a default configuration for that plugin. And then the other way is what we see here, which is passing in an object and we pass in the plugin name uh, under the uh, resolve attribute. And then we add some op additional options there. Uh, for this case, we don't need to do any configuration. We literally just add the post CSS plugin and we're good to go. I'll restart my development environment. And whilst that's loading, I want to make sure I've loaded in the uh, Tailwind directives. So, in my layout CSS, I am going to add three lines, and this is all on the uh, on the Tailwind documentation. So, if we go to TailwindCSS.com, if you've never used Tailwind, it's awesome. It's utility first. It simplified my life when it comes to CSS design. I'm not a designer. I don't try and be a designer. And so the more I have out of the box, the better I feel. What Tailwind allows you to do is it allows you to, it's very unopinionated. They don't really set up any components. It, it just sets up these utility classes and it allows us to create our own components. So the way that I use it is in combination with say, you know, if I, if I'm looking at buttons, these you know they've got some examples but you don't have to use them you can change blue to red you can change uh, the hover or the text color or the font style or the padding or the uh, rounding here and then I couple that with a couple of websites so there's Tailwind CSS oh, there's Tailwind component.com what that gives us is some base components so for example if we want an alert we can take this we can look at the code and in fact let's do that we'll copy this one in and then we can modify it to what we want and let's just throw it on a page usually we would componentize it but here we can just throw it in Just like that and then all we need to do is change class to class name before we expect that to work we do need to add these three directives and so it's going to be tailwind and there's going to be base there's going to be components and utilities and these three are going to make sure that we load the base the component and the utility classes in post CSS is going to convert this into CSS that the browser understands. You can see there's no issues there. We've already added our sample alert right here. If we go back, boom, there it is. You can see that teal lightest didn't work. Maybe if we put a number in for the shade, yeah. The example is just slightly outdated. And then even for the 
text color. We can put 800. Uh, border teal, we can put 500. And you can see how easy it is to add and update uh, our styles and our components there. Uh, if you're interested in Tailwind CSS, definitely, definitely check out their website. Their documentation is fantastic. The same as Gatsby, you know, all these modern tools, the documentation, they've really stepped up their game. Uh, everything is here. If you want to learn more about what we did, adding those three directives, base components, utilities, if you go to the installation part of the documentation, it's all there. Everything is there ready for you. So jump in, you know, don't be scared. Check it out. I guarantee you're going to love it. That's pretty much it. Like I said, <laughs> it really wasn't going to take us long. And there we are. We've got Tailwind loaded into our website. So the next step is going to be adding Markdown to our website using a Markdown plugin. And then we can start writing our blog posts and that'll be in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a like below. Please subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with the videos that I'll be posting. I'm posting twice a week right now on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I've got a bunch of videos lined up for Stencil, for Gatsby, for a bunch of other things. So if you're interested, you know, hit that notification bell so that you're kept up to date. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>